Hi there, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative, and today we're talking about HubSpot, custom objects, and what we think are the most important ones. So the first one is creating a conversion object. Now with a conversion object, it's incredibly powerful because out of the box, HubSpot focuses on first conversion and last conversion. And when you think about conversions at the contact base level, that can be adequate. You understand where people came from, the source of the campaign that they came through on, and then you understand the last activity. Where there is a huge amount of opportunity is the, the, the messy middle. You get to look at the conversions that happen throughout the buying cycle. How the conversions flowed through the buying cycle and the buyer's journey and essentially how the content depth changed or the activity that happened overall. Now there's a couple really compelling use cases for this, but the first one is forget about things at the contact level. What if we're focusing on the account level or the company level? At the company level, you care about the number of conversions happening across the entire organization. You care about whether people are requesting demos or whether people are requesting ebook downloads, or maybe people start to explore areas that are outside of that initial conversion. Right now in HubSpot, that's mostly a one dimensional kind of workflow. They're in this workflow if they converted on this offer or guide, and you don't really give them a lot of different directions to go. But when we start talking about the complexity of multiple people doing conversions at multiple times with an organization, that's where smart content comes in on the website, but also being able to leverage a conversion object starts to really be valuable. Now let's forget everything in regards to reporting in HubSpot at the contact level. Let's just imagine conversions. And I'm not just talking about a form conversion. I'm talking about a chat conversion. I'm talking about, it could be a, a piece of content around a course. It could be a lot of different things. But what we wanna know about the effectiveness of a certain content or campaign is the space or the relation that it has in the buyer's journey. How many case studies are actually being downloaded by people who are in the opportunity stage? Or what kind of conversions are happening on certain pages that are generating certain results? And are those marketing qualified leads actually going deeper into the funnel or are they converting on content that's higher? This is where the conversion object really starts to shine through. So by having the conversion object in HubSpot, you can automate the objects so that there's some, some nurturing that happens. You can make it so that if there's combinations of objects that you can then bring that, that information back to the company record or the contact record. And you can start to compare if more than one person in an organization downloaded the same offer. Think about the power, right? By simplifying, and focusing just on the content and where the content is placed in the buyer's journey, you now are going to be able to really understand and double down on the right content at the right time. And so by focusing on this conversion object, all that it has to do is collect the information for, from where the conversion happened, collect the um, contacts lifecycle stage, and bring any other information that is important to your organization to really understand the value of a conversion piece. And the best part, reporting all the way through the entire life cycle. You can report on these objects as their own object, or you can use cross object reporting in HubSpot to connect that to the company or deals that are associated as well. So check it out. If you have questions about it, we can build that for you over at Impulse. If not, be happy on your journey of that conversion object goodness. Talk soon.